So a very good morning to one and all connected with us from all across the country. I am Akshay Singh Ranawat and I welcome you all on behalf of CCS Chaudhary Charan Singh National Institute of Agricultural Marketing Jaipur to the webinar series on Kisan Mitra on Agricultural Technology for Marketing organized by CCS Niyam in collaboration with Office of Principal Scientific Advisor, Government of India. CCS National Institute of Agricultural Marketing Jaipur is an autonomous organization established under the aegis of Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Government of India to cater various agriculture related aspects such as training, research, consultancy, education in the field of agricultural marketing. CCS Niam is also recognized globally as the center of excellence in the Southeast Asia. Kisan Mitra, or as we call it, Friends of Farmer, is an initiative by Principal Scientific Advisor Office in collaboration slash partnership with CCS Niam. The objective of this initiative is to bring technologies to farmers and reverse, reverse migrants, those who have moved or diverted to rural or rural spaces, rural India due to impact of COVID-19. Under this initiative, more than 1000 technologies have been identified, which are supported by institutions like ICAR, NABARD, Ministry of Rural Development, ISRO, and maybe foundations like Gates and Melinda. So on the supply side of the technology, there are innovators, entrepreneurs, researchers in academic and research institutes talking and dis uh, disseminating information about their technologies. Considering the demand side, we have webinar participants ranging from typically from agribusiness enthusiasts, government functionaries, agribusiness companies to other <laughs> stakeholders who are keen in agri-technology. Uh, moving towards today's webinar, we will be discussing on the subject of fruits, that is planting material, jackfruit and dragon fruit uh, to be imprecise and maybe other fruits with together. And speaker for today is an expert in the field. He comes with, exp with an experience of more than two decades. His name is Dr. Uh, G. Karuna Karan. He is a principal scientist and head at uh, Central Horticulture Experiment Station IIHR Harihali. Uh, Tumkur, Karnataka. Sir, I welcome you on behalf of CCS Niyam and Principal Scientific Advisor. Over to you, sir. Sir, uh, you are not mute. You are mute. You are kindly unmute yourself and proceed. Sir, kindly unmute yourself and proceed with the presentation. Sachin, can you unmute him, please? So there'll be a mic option at the lower, which says mute and mute. Yes, sir. Now it is unmute. Now it's unmute. Yes, sir. You're audible now. Full screen and then we'll proceed. Perfect, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning to all. Mm, most probably, I'm going to deal with the two crops, which is dragon fruit and dragon uh, jack fruit. Along with, I can also going to do avocado butterfruit. What I choose is three crop at present means just three crops among the farmers, among the consumers, among the marketing. This is the top priority is going on in India because of health benefits and also the income of the farmers, income of the farmers and the better market for these three kind of foods is available in India. So I am going to uh, one. One slide I'm going to, here I put for this one. This is from Japan, actually. Why I put for this for this information to this slide, actually, in Japan, they cannot grow mango. They cannot grow mango in Japan. So this is the, this is the problem of climate. But India, in, in India, we are enjoying with the right from tropical, subtropical, temperate, right from apple, berry, and mango. We are enjoying. But in case of in case of Japan, there is a problem of growing mango itself because of either it's a two winter or two summer. They have to establish definitely with the structure for providing the better climate. But in India, our God's own country, we are enjoying with all these foods with open and naturally we are growing. 
and we are happy that we are not as too extreme climate of the winter or too extreme climate of the summer we are in the tropical humid situation such a wonderful lovely climate we are so we have bountiful nature with us so we have to extract from the nature and we can grow the crops this is what what other countries are facing problem and we are, we are in our countries what is the climate so when they are spending huge investment to, to establish this kind of structure we are just a minimum investment we are getting maximum income that is what our concept in this one so next slide i have put candidate fruit crops so you see for planting material production many of the things may, people might be knowing but these are the crops recent emerging trend in fruit crops recent trend in emerging fruit crops because in indians nowadays goes abroad frequently and they are having different kind of fruits same fruits they wanted in india also so when you want to import those fruits we are spending huge money towards to the foreign exchange so that's why now in indian farmers they started growing these fruits and they are enjoying with the benefits with the marketing marketing benefit also and the margin of the margin of the income that is what i want to say the doubling of the farmers income these are the fruits highly suitable in the fruit crops i i will mention that dragon fruit avocado jack fruit mangosteen rambutan durian longa these are the major commercial crops in india they started growing now because of the demand so the demand driven fruit crops these are the six or seven fruit crops the right hand side is the minimum demand is started but not in the large commercial scale of this this thing so one these things you see why they wanted this all the crops why they want all this crops one thing already i said climate second thing nutritive value the nutritive value of dragon fruit we will see deeply the nutritive value and we can go for value addition this kind of crops another one the maintenance and proper profitability the farmers mainly targeted with the profitability so doubling the income another one, the crops return the very quickly the within a two one to two years production will start this kind of crops and also the market markets one of the important if you grow uh, fruits if nobody is buyer says uh, then we will face a problem so market is one of the important strategy uh, so marketing trend also it is increasing it is increasing trend in marketing is the above said crops actually so first one i will go for is, this is the dragon fruit i think many of them nowadays in indians are tasted that one so just i want to put a picture for you how the dragon fruits grown everything detail we'll see these fruits is more popular in in the vietnam vietnam one of the countries that entire economic is backbone is only drag, dragon fruit cultivation only there are countries entirely the dragon fruit cultivation only because that 70% of dragon fruit is exported to other countries one of the major uh, importer is china european countries australia and the united states and many other countries they import it from the only from the vietnam they are importing so based on this one the dragon fruit emerging trend in india and also i will give detail what kind of nutritive value is this and this food sat we will see the other slide also so these are the countries the friend at present the countries india i made it the green color round almost you can grow the entire country dragon fruit cultivation can be done only the except the cultivation at two winter so minus 1 2 3 that area we are not recommending so the countries in bold right from australia and united states ukraine palesia thailand philippines these are the countries already emerged for dragon fruit cultivations so in india which are the states probably we can go ahead with the dragon fruit cultivations i mentioned already karnataka gujarat maharashtra andhra pradesh west bengal bihar kerala tamil nadu bihar and uttar pradesh partly we can go ahead we can cultivate kerala tamil nadu orissa and andaman and kobar these are the max under northeastern states i left out that north is another one of the important states northeastern states except from the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and you can cultivate even lower himachal pradesh not from the upper himachal pradesh so these are maximum all the states in india dragon fruit may be cultivated these are this these states can extract this potential value of these crops and they can farmers can gain the uh, income from this kind of crops so just i put one small information for you how dragon fruit is picking in world and india you see in 1995 vietnam started with only 2000 hectare and today they are growing 
54,000 hectare. They are growing 54,000 hectare and their income is 1.1 billion US dollar. Their income is 1.1 billion dollar. If dragon fruit is not supporting the Vietnam country, that entire country economic will be shattered. Because of because they are earning 1.1 billion US dollar, the one and one and only crop from the dragon fruit. So India already in in India this year around 750 hectare I mentioned the area is increasing like anything it goes it is steadily increasing around 1000 hectares already has come up in India in maybe 2025 it may go up to 10,000 hectare also in India. India will go shortly for the export of this kind of crops. So what are the export potential to other countries from India? This is one small slide. Next one is the benefit of this dragon fruit. I want to say this one. If you have a dragon fruit, what kind of health concept, nutritive value? If you consume 100 gram of fruits, you see one Dr. Shalini, she wrote one article. Everybody should have a, everybody should have a rainbow color diet fruits. Then only you will have the antioxidants, vitamins, carotenoids and every minerals will have in your body then you will be healthy so code your meal color your meal so you should have a different kind of colored foods you should take particularly either vegetable also or fruits also you should have so i mentioned this why they used to call it as a tropical super fruit dragon fruit they used to call it as a super fruit why they used to call it as that these fruits having 80 percent of the water that is the moisture content and sugar level is very, very low, 3 to 7 percent only. And another one, this fruit having beta cyanine content, which is very good. You are uh, metabolic disorders and other purpose, this beta cyanine one of the important content, actually. Now, uh, this beta cyanine content either will be beetroot or will be in dragon fruit. None other fruits will be there. Other fruits will be the carotenoids, not beta cyanine. Beta cyanine, one of the rich fruit is dragon fruit and also due to less sugar less sugar and low in calorie value it won't increase the blood glucose level this is good for diabetic patient one more thing another one these fruits are rich in more of more of organic acids their shelf life is the food shelf life at ambient condition ambient means just for room temperature you can store seven to ten days you can store without anything you can store as a seven to center because of organic acids it won't get rotted very quickly because like banana and all, once it ripens, it starts mold, fungal, and also rotting. But these fruits, because of low in sugar and more in organic acids, this is very good for the shelf life also and health benefit also. These are the information. The another one thing I want to tell you: these fruits having rich in potassium followed by calcium, phosphorus, iron. Rich in potassium, phosphorus, really one, uh, one person is having hypertension. If he is taking so rich in potassium fruits, definitely it's good for himself. Calcium is required for, for what? Iron is required for what? This, that's why this fruit is called as a super food and super food. The people are more and more of people because now any generation, like from low, any people also they can take, aged people also in this kind of way because there is one shoot of the sugar log. This is such a wonderful fruit. Once, if you have a taste, then only. But one thing, the fruits which are from the imported fruit, you won't like it because of it is, we are harvesting immature one and also bland in taste. But in the fruits are grown in India, it's a very good taste. And also you like it to have more number of fruits, actually. So you see this one. You see the dragon fruit is, one is white pulp, red pulp, pink pulp. This is the three. But skin may be variation is there. Skin may be very The pink is called already the magenta. The yellow color skin fruits mostly little bit higher in sugar level when comparatively red and magenta are white color fruits. So the market preference and demand in market is red and pink only. People are not preferring the white one. Actually, white one is very good one and less in sugar, more of little bit that combination of bitter with the sweetness. Such a lovely tasty fruit, actually, white pulp also. These are the three different kind of shades available in the market percent. One thing in, in this seminar, only they asked me to focus on planting material. I will focus on three crops, which is dominantly in Indians emerging in among the farmers level and also marketing level. So this dragon, dragon fruit propagation is nothing but it can be propagated through the one cutting, simple cutting. By seed, if you grow by seed, it takes three years for flowering, three years for fruiting. But in case of cuttings, 
you can get within a year your plant will start yielding your plant will start by yielding by within a year one should collect one year old shoot and after collecting the shoot the base of the stem kindly provide the slanting cut of the slanting cut you have to provide after slanting cut just you plant it to the any poly bags 5 by 7 or 6 by 9 poly bags you can use poly bags and the poly bags parting which should contain 1 is to 1 is to 1 red sand red uh, red soil sand and air fire these three mixtures you, you, that is the best for providing the nutrient for this cuttings and cuttings will start sprouting after 45 days the planting material will be ready by 3 to 4 months one can start planting by the 3 to 4 months today the market rate is planting material right from starts from 40 to 150 rupees that's selling farmers the range of the planting material selling is 45 to 150 rupees nowadays farmers are making money out of this also by propagation of this planting material also but one should not select tender shoot or younger shoot for the propagation that will affect the life of expect life expectation of the for the particular plant will be reduced and yielding also will be reduced so kindly select the mature shoot one year old shoot only should be selected so another this one how to plant dragon fruit dragon fruit need a support system dragon fruit need a support system suppose if you are in tropical areas very less rainfall areas just you plant it simple raised bed system with 6 feet pole and 2 feet diameter of the ring is required so raised bed system one of the best system suppose if you are living in high rainfall zone if you are living high rainfall zone kindly go by the trench system trench system the planting space is by 10 by 8 feet and 12 by 8 feet you can go 10 by 8 means around 450 to 500 plants will come 12 by 8 around 420 by plants will come so why this was standardized system and also you go for single pole system is best don't go for and single pole system also cement pole with the cement ring is best ideal system we are evaluating so many different system among the result we said that single pole cement uh, ring with cement pole is best one actually these are the models different training models you can see we can we have done it t uh, trellis system a shape trellis system cement trellis system and also uh, con- and also with the uh, stone pillar stone pillar also we used it with iron ring stone pillar with iron ring with the tire also we used it these are the different modules just overview to have a look at these things then how, what are the rings you can adopt for single pole system this are the different training different ring system you can use for growing dragon fruit this is a dice people who, who whom so want to discuss this one you come my personal whatsapp number or you give me email i will call you and you can discuss about fabrication system since it is having less time only 40 minutes so i to cover three crops that's why this is a different training model die how to go ahead for the fabrication of the single pole cement ring and the cement pole system for that you are using different kind of die system we can use it but among that cement is best one actually this is the diagram of how one can go with do cement pole with cement this is the diagrammatic what 8 mm tmt rod 2 feet diameter of the ring 6 feet height of the uh, pole and 5 by 4 thickness of the cement pole like the different these things i mentioned come in personal whatsapp we will discuss these things this is another model single pole system with without ring this is the vietnam the country is having highest humidity continuous rainfall there is no need for them ring but in case of our countries we have to provide top one ring we have to provide to support our plant the minimum support should hold that that pole and ring should be 200 kg one ring should hold 200 kg so this is the model of in vietnam and another things in vietnam also they are using as a, like grapes white trellis system white trellis system and t trellis system both the same white trellis system also they are adopting but for white trellis or tree trellis system what happen that is growing over growth and pruning is difficult harvesting is difficult little bit so we are not recommending that y and tree trellis system but yield wise on par with red and re, single pole system and tree trellis system this is our, even we have allowed in grow to the one live system also just for just for trial purpose we have done that is not that good but some people want to grow their backward of cultivation they can go it with the live system also 
this live system. This is the one video I, I want to show that how dragon fruit plants will uh, flower and fruiting. Dragon fruit will plants will flower during the starts in the month of May to till October. But in case of northern India, it will start after June only flowering. In case of southern India, it will be early rainfall. It starts flowering in the month of April last week or May last week. This is the video, one small demo plot video I am showing to you. This is on June June 26th. That is the full uh, lengthiest day. Dragon fruit cannot be grown under the shady area. It has to be grown only in the open conditions. Then only it will perform the flowering and fruiting also. So this is the one uh, small area I am showing to you how the flowering and also six month flowering will be there. You can harvest 8 to 12 harvest. Each harvest, you will make around 1 ton of fruit each other. That is third year harvest. The first year, you will get it 1 ton of fruit. Second year, you will get 3 to 4 tons. Third year, you will get it 6 to 8 ton of fruits. Another thing, this is the field view. We should not allow the any suckers. Only we have to allow the allow to grow only one single stem to the upper up to the ring. We should not allow any more bunch type of growth. We should allow single stem up to the ring. After the ring, we have to make it the umbrella type canopy. Once you prune it, different branches will come out. It will create umbrella type structures. So one has to important for pruning and post planting operation. Very very important. Otherwise, plant will spread in only in ground level. It will not climb at all. Then you will lose first year, first year yielding and income also. So another one practice is in heavy rainfall zone, they can remove the corolla tube. They can remove the corolla because if it is attached with the flower, what will happen? The corolla tube it gives a fungal contamination. It consumes nutrients. Some fungal contamination is carried to fruit also. So removal is best one that has to be done in that soil. Then bagging of a particular in Vietnam they started doing bagging because of fruit play attack in india it's not that much fruit play attack not started and bagging is it develops color also avoiding fruit play attack also this is one more thing also we have studied if suppose if you want i want to grow under the shade shade area other i was growing intercrop with coconut intercrop with mango or some other crop i want to go intercrop what we are suggesting, we have studied that one, but we are not recommending that person uh, this uh, intercrop with any other crop. The only thing, the sunburn injury is less when compared to the open field conditions. Open field conditions. This are fertilizer management. And one more thing I want to say, those who are having less water, those who are having less water, less irrigation fertilizer, they can grow this one. Because in, uh, for example, in, in my experiment plant, I, I have irrigated only in the month of March, last irrigation. Till date, I have not given irrigation at all because continuous rainfall is there. After October and November, I will start irrigating. I will start irrigating the plants weekly once, weekly once, five liter fruit, uh, liter is enough for one single pole. Single pole means four plants in one pole. So single pole is four plants and five liters. In case of heavy summer is that you have to irrigate eight to ten liter weekly once. If you suppose heavy evaporation is there, maybe weekly twice, you give four, four liters. One can manage three to four months during summer means their crop will be best during other season also. So this this is a, some sometimes you count this one. One pillar it will give around 60 to 80 fruits at a time. One pillar will give 60 to 80 fruits. When you comes more number of fruits, the food size is little bit less because of the feeding is very very difficult. This many this many fruits, it cannot be able to substitute or supplement for nutrients with the canopy volume or root volume for this many fruits. So that that one has to go for a slightly thinning of the food that will improve the size of the fruits. Another one, anybody want the selection of the varieties, it should be self compatible varieties. Variety should be in self compatible. If, if you collect the variety, self incompatible variety means you will face problem of smaller size fruit and it won't set fruits. And that will be careful while selecting the varieties. So, here you see one two advantages I want to tell you after flowering, you can harvest 30 to 35 days your fruit within a month. The fruits will develop with red color. Right from bud to harvest, around 45 to 50 days one. Only that's why I told six to eight cycle of flowering. Six to eight cycle of flowering. 
8 to 10 cycle of harvest. 8 to 10 times you will harvest the fruits. So the harvesting fruits after color breaking by third day if you harvest, that will be taste wise good and quality wise good. These fruits, the immature fruits if you harvest after harvest, it won't change any biochemical changes. Up to if you allow in tree itself, it will give biochemical changes, color development, taste wise. This too is very, that's why maturity index is one of the important aspects the farmer should learn about when to harvest and what stage you should harvest. After everything, I want, I want to clarify with them. The other one thing, yield. Yield. The first year, like banana. Banana you can harvest within a year. Papaya can harvest within a year. Same year, dragon fruit also can be harvested within a year. 1 to 1.5 times in one year. But in case of second year, you will harvest 2.5 to 4 times. In case of third year, you will have 5 to 8 tons of five to eight tons of fruit on third year third one i mentioned first year not first year third year third year after you will get it yeah, up to some farmers are harvesting in Karnataka, eight ton also they are harvesting the minimum farmers are harvesting six tons at present the farmers are selling them 100 to 160 rupees per kilo fruit in farm gate price for example if you harvest five ton of fruits in a year if you keep minimum price 100 rupees you will get it five lakh rupees you will get it 5 lakh rupees. You will get it 5 lakh. But one thing I want to say, these fruits actually, uh, initial investment is around, it comes 4.5 to 5 lakhs. Your investment can be recovered within two years of the planting. But in third year onwards, it will be whatever the invested money will be recorded by two years, third year onwards, your income. But the annual maintenance, this will come around to 1 to 1.5 lakhs only. Suppose if you are spending 1 lakh per year by next third year for invest, for maintenance, you will get it 3.5 lakhs minimum. If you harvest 8 lakh, 8 tons of fruit, you think it 8 lakhs, even you spend 2 to 3 lakhs for maintenance, 5 lakhs in your hand in a year from the 1 acre of the planting. So this is some of the how Vietnam is doing the grading, packing, sending to the other countries. And uh, what are, this is another thing, some of the countries, Japan and Korea, they themselves you do the technology, how to pack and what kind of treatment, everything they will do, that way they have to do it. Then another, what kind of post harvest product, so many products they are doing it. In India, short day will come up ready to serve juice. It is going to come then dragon fruit ready to serve. It will start, that few companies are already their lineup, the startup already doing this research work and in our institute also did. So shortly they will come up with a ready to serve drink. It will go into the and bottling juice also will come in dragon food shortly. So a few a few insects for this way. If you come, uh, you interact with me over phone or WhatsApp, I'll give full details because I have to cover other two, three crops also. There. This is some few diseases are there. One is root rot. If you over what root rot will happen, then another one thing, bacterial rot is there. So whenever you are bringing material, please don't bring that disease infected material. Please bring good material and plant it. That itself will eliminate you can disease also. The one more thing is some people are planting in the area of uh, around above 40 degree. And another I, I want to say that this plant is ideally will perform 10 to 38 degree of temperature, 60 to 80 humidity. If it is there, those areas they can blindly they can go for cultivation of dragon fruit. Once after 38 degree crosses during summer time, it will give sunburn injury. For that also, how to prevent and what kind of preventive measures we can go for cryolidite spray that will reduce your sunburn injury. It will protect your plant. If you are allowing sunburn injury, the secondary infection will start that rotting symptoms. So one has to take care during January to till May. They have to take care. So please, if you have any guidance, please talk to us. Outside, you can sit. Please sit outside. So, partial shade during the summer, you can go for sustenia and clericidia and drumstick and shade that actually. So, these are the things I want to do it. So, because now we can avoid this kind of things actually, sir. This one. So, one more thing. Uh, now, people are doing little dragon fruit cultivation in terrace also. You can grow in terrace also. So, uh, some of the technology we are having for that one also. Simply, you can plant in small pots. You can cultivate in 5, 10 pots in this one, terrace also. Even we are organizing, continuously, 3, 4 years, we are organizing dragon fruit, these things. 
uh, field day and also we have given training to several uh, uh, African countries. This is one program I attended in Vietnam for that one so to learn how the Vietnam is going at these things. And also another one farmer, this is all for, for success story for you I am showing. One farmer from Hyderabad by Sinivas Rao. And one more thing, why they put lighting? You can make off-season production also. You can make off-season production also. You can make during November to till till February. You can cultivate this one. November to till February, you can cultivate. Uh, during that time, you will get it premium price because now there is no fruits available in the market. And you will uh, people are selling even 200 rupees per kilo. Also. Even they are selling 200 rupees per kilo because these plant is long day plant. It required flowering is 12 to 14 hours lighting. It is required 12 to 14 hours lighting is required. So, uh, 12 to 14 hours lighting means so during winter we are having only 8 hours lighting. So, we have to provide additional LED bulb. You can induce your flowering, you can get good price in farm gate prices. Sir. So, another one of the farmers from Bangalore is getting, is cultivating intercrop with rose, ginger and chrysanthemum also. He is in Bangalore, near to Bangalore, he is getting 180 to 200 rupees, he is getting the market price this thing. So, it is depending upon these things actually. So, next one, the farmers, you can see the sweets, actually dragon fruit can be made out of cake, sweets and also uh, 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 birthday cake also started preparing in Bangalore. This person is sending to Bombay, per kg is 160 rupees per kilo. 160 rupees per kilo there. He started doing buyback farming from the farmers also. This is another success story. The another farmer is growing a totally organic but high temperature range. He is growing around his, his area's temperature 44 degree Celsius, 44 degree temperatures actually. So he is growing dragon fruit with giving some providing shade and he is cultivating is from Tamil Nadu actually. So these are you see the next the dragon fruit is over. Next one I will go for jackfruit cultivation. Jackfruit in the northern India is very, very less. People are not having by, by uh, fruits they won't take. But if they used to take it as a vegetable and tender jack, they used to take it. They used to take it as a vegetable and tender jack. That is also speaking in our market. Recently, Karnataka has planted more than 10,000 hectares is established because the demand of the tender jack, the demand of the tender jack, it is so high. The demand at the tender jack is so high and also it goes for mostly from northern India. But in case of part of bigger part of Uttar Pradesh already, they are using a lot, northern Indian states they are using. Or, but in case of central India, after central India, some uh, many people they won't it's a table fruit, they won't take it. They used to take it only as a vegetable tender jack. That's a few slides I will put. What are the variability in India? You see, jack fruit we used to see only yellow in color. You see the variability right from orange, deep red, coppery red, light shadow red, yellow red, deep red. So many variables in India. We have released two varieties also. These are the different jackfruit is edible to us. These are the different uh, edible species we are having. And India, these are all in because of this crop is origin from Western Ghat India. This is our origin is Western Ghat. So these are the different species we are using our in the diet system. And also, why jackfruit so healthy? Because now that is very important. Jackfruit is having more than 10% of the fiber. Particularly, north, northern state people used to have a jackfruit, vegetable jack. They are taking rich in fiber content. If you take a wheat or rice, their fiber content is less than 1%. But in case of tender jack, the vegetable, uh, vegetable tender jack is having more than 10%. It is stood in number one pushes among the foods design rich in fiber content. The fiber content is more more important than the, any other cereals. And also, it's having source of fructose, carotene, lipids, and also rich in dietary fiber I mentioned actually. So you see diversity I mentioned already I showed I read I mentioned you see the variability of the this course. We are also promoting for the northern India's table varieties which is having less they want a less small they want the good in taste food. That also we are trying to locate. These are the variability of the foods. And uh, we have identified two varieties. Two varieties of variety we identified. How we are linking the biodiversity model. One important thing I want to say that the, far, the farmer name is Paramesh Sidhu. We released a variety in the, in the year of 2017. 
Today, the farmer's earning income by selling his plants is 25 lakhs per annum. His earning income 25 lakhs per annum. His spending money is 45 lakhs for producing the plants because after our intervention to identifying this variety and linking biodiversity model to the farmers. Because in the jackfruit, what happened? Every farmer they used to sow as a seed. When they sow sowing seed, what happened? There is a huge variability in the fruit characters. So what we did, we identified the tree, we released it in the name of farmers, and we given royalty to the farmers. We given royalty to the farmers. And today we are producing plants, we are giving royalty to farmers 70%. Institute is getting only 30% by producing the planting material. Now, we trained up the farmers that Sindhu farmer himself, Paramesh by name, he himself is producing planting material. Last year, he produced 25,000 planting material. He is selling 200 rupees per plant to work out what is the cost. And his expenditure is only 10 to 12 lakhs, remaining 25 lakhs. This is what the linking biodiversity, whatever existing varieties, identifying the varieties and releasing to the farmers. They can go because now we can get trade there by Sindhu. Entire India you will get Sindhu because jackfruit is the problem. Is each and every fruit is different color, different taste. That's why people are not liking. And also this variety is the unique characteristic. Just three to four clothes. One lady can carry from market to her home. She herself can cut. And also 25 to 30 bulbs only this fruits. And also this is rich in lycopene content. That is one of the important content which is not available into the yellow. This is rich in lycopene content. So you are, this is what we have identified through the linking biodiversity model. This is one of the unique models developed by the IHR and now many other institutions that started developing this kind of models. So the varietal characters. This is the varietal characters. How the fruits look like. Already I explained. This is another variety by name is Shankaraya. What kind of deep copper is it? We see that one, such a deep copper is it. So this is the character. This is the character of the, the particular fruits. They see the fruit. It's a small size fruit. 20 to 30 bulbs. My family only 20 to 30 bulbs. Cannot finish. If we carry 30 kg fruit, we cannot eat more than 5 seeds. That will do 300 fruits. Then what to do? We have to give to the neighbors, opposite house, and we waste it sometimes. So this is ideal for the, a family pack, a small pack. And just why, that's why we added and also health benefits, like open content, rich in this course. So these are the characters. Characters means particularly biochemical character, flavonoids, phenols, vitamin C, those things, carotenoid, lycopene, which was tasted. Because in tomato, lycopene content is around the 4 to 5. This one has a 2.1 to 2 ring. That's good for health also, actually. So another one thing, we will come to your this planting material productions. There is a two type of planting material production. One is by the uh, you can uh, take only three months old rootstock, give a veggie shape cut, and you can go for it. You collect a cyanode, give the veggie shape cut to the cyan also, and just insert it and tie with the plastic paper and give a give a plastic cover part to maintain the humidity. Three months old rootstock you have to take, give a wedge shape cut to the root cyan and the same cut to the root stock also and tie with plastic and give plastic cover to the entire the, this is called grafting technique this is called grafting technique the next one is this is the grafting technique the next one is spacing and this one we will discuss later this is the, this is the way one has to maintain the this plant and thinning of the flower are tender jackfruit the tender jackfruit is uh, because uh, you will get it 20 rupees per kilo. 20 rupees per kilo in Palm Gateway. In Bombay, it goes from Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. It goes to via Kerala and Karnataka, it goes to Bombay and it goes to abroad also, particularly, particularly it goes to Arab countries. And uh, their farmers are getting 20 to 30 per kilo. The 100 fruits they are selling is 2,000 uh, 2, rupees per kilo. Under, under pieces means 20 rupees, 2000 rupees per foot. So, thinning of the flowers for tender jack, one of the important practices followed by in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. So, you see, jackfruit always they used to tell it takes yielding 10 years, 8 years. No, no, nowadays some varieties are there, it starts yielding by second, second to third year. So, this is the two year old trees you can see, you can use for vegetable jack purpose. You can use for even jackfruit also, it will start yielding by secondary itself. 
not in the 8 to 10 years because such a varieties are available in india uh, these are tender jackfruit already the diet regarding already i said same thing the diet provides some very good nutrients that's what i mentioned here and uh, other things are there so how tender jack is prepared machinery packing and there's a, and bottling also they are doing tender jack here you can see what is dinner meatless meat this is the article is published in northeastern states because northern state the consumption is lot of meat so to ship to vegetative meat the guns meat so plant based meat so that is what this was so this one are this this tender jack can be treated as a meat kind of thing structure it gives it looks also and taste wise also so this is good for health and so many value addition jackfruit jackfruit you can create value addition this person you see jackfruit is making this uh, tetra pulp and is selling to so many european countries it goes to uh, arab countries and australia is sending this is they are they are taking for ice cream and also they are making juice also it is all jackfruit tit bits it is called jackfruit tit bits he is one of the entrepreneur big entrepreneur in kerala is doing another one is jackfruit you used for the thin container pulp system and also ice cream you see during season time when jackfruit is available how we are storing this one when off season we can release for that one so processing one of the important aspect in jackfruit and also for the jackfruit chips is emerging market and the last one or two slide this is avocado propagation how we can pro produce the avocado this one this is the slide and also the area is increasing the above three set crops the farmers who is interested kindly enter this one and extract the yield potential get better income and and also we are thinking producing the, the technical know also one of the important things farmers have to know about how to grow when to grow what to spray what to apply the fertilizer how to harvest all the things information we are developing about these three crops please come uh, later on we will discuss and one more thing i want to say you see i have attended one meeting uh, the shoes are in showroom one person actually he asked me he is from australia he asked dr karnakaran in india what we are wearing what we are wearing shoes they are selling in ashi showroom what we are eating we are selling in the road side platform and drainage side so it should be in india definitely we should shift what we are eating that should be shifted to like malls ashi showroom it should be shown what we are wearing it should be shifted to road side so this is the concept i because na kindly think that what we are eating what we are wearing there is a two different so we should create our food or whatever it may be it should be very hygienic manner we have to say this is the fruit you, you 300 rupees rambutan fruit they are selling in kerala 300 rupees per kilo fruit 300 rupees so the india is already changing and uh, this is the one video just you see how banana kerala is packed farmers they are uh, they are sending to middleman and they are unable to get proper income this one farmer is growing banana and he is packing in individual bunches and sending to delhi he is getting price of 30 rupees per kilo same thing locally if i am sending sending to some mandis i am sending to some middleman i am getting only 5 to 7 rupees per kilo he is getting 25 to 30 rupees you see how they are packing the packing is very important because farmer should go for the post harvest packing is very very important to get better income also so this is a simple practice it is not a machinery practice just they are uh, doing it this one and they are packing this all the thing simply they are putting in crate normally banana what they will do they will do in uh, packing in crate simply as a punch itself they will load it this is the one thing i want to tell them go for it packing methodology also very important post harvest is very important we can get better income and uh, next one you see i just i put this uh, because now i put dragon fruit ko kawa corona ko aro eat dragon fruit not only eat dragon fruit eat many fruits either butter fruit or jack fruit or any other fruits eat corona because now dragon fruit uh, when you go and uh, two years one years back uh, dragon fruit if you uh, normally doctors used to recommend because what doctors after your fever they are recommending vitamin d complex and minerals same amount of quantity this fruits will have so if you have a take as a fruit that tablet no need for the after fever or this will improve your health dragon fruit so eat dragon fruit and beat corona it is not a control i am not telling for control it will develop your immune system 
it will develop is removed sir that's what i want to say this is the one thing uh, i said three fruits i mentioned smart fruit 20 percent so many fruits are there i thank our director dr mr dinesh he gave me a uh, opportunity to present this paper to the forum of ccs nizam uh and also my project associate dr ram mr arivadagan and sri ram i am thanking them also and also i thank organizer who gave me this opportunity just to express my view of and three this three to cross ccs nizam and also the director of that particular institute and also mr dr ayur varma also i thank you for this this opportunity thank you very much sir uh thank you dr karuna karan i think the entire presentation was very uh, comprehensive and in self explanatory in itself and i think you covered every single aspect of both the fruits and i think the way ahead and uh, especially your take on corona it was i think really nice so uh, and i would request if, uh, all the participants if you have any questions or queries or any projections to make kindly proceed with that so that uh, our uh, steam speaker is there for you in case just you need to uh, you know encounter any question or any query Uh, you can also drop your queries in the chat box so i'll cater it to the uh, speaker participants so doctor uh, before anybody uh, proceeds towards any question i have a personal question to uh, uh, ask uh, sir am i audible yes sir yes, please sir please uh, sir uh, yes sir so in case of jackfruit uh, i see uh, one problem i think which has been existing from the very beginning is about the procurement and transportation of the fruit considering the size of it is uh, not very natural like not very small so how do you tackle that when it comes to the entire procurement process and transportation actually sir it's a nice question that's why uh, for example normally from karnataka jackfruit transported to as such full fruit only we are trans transporting but nowadays what happen people are here itself they are pre processing pre processing means removing skin and uh, making small small pieces making to the drum 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 200 liter drum they are filling it is all solution because once the dragon fruit sorry jack fruit once if you cut a tender jack what will happen immediately it turns brown in color to avoid that one they are shipping to brine solution or the anti browning they are using that one that is the way mode of nowadays because now there is the production is more there itself the companies are emerging nowadays but one thing another one thing jack fruit what happen uh, the another one thing uh, for fruit definitely we have to cut it where you are going to eat or where you are going to sell only rarely we cannot cut as a fruit we cannot the bulk we cannot be sharp shifted to the from here to there from bombay or delhi but in case of jack fruit bulk also nowadays frozen jack frozen already i showed the picture one kind of uh, one kind of uh, plate type plate type we are making plate and we are keeping deep freezer whenever they need there we are sending through the freezer system which cannot be used for for eating directly which can be made for ice cream which can made for sweet which can made for chips like that the processing product purpose that can be highly suitable so presently quick processing you can have a shelf life of 2 days of after opening your jack fruit pulps that is fruits Uh, but mostly carrying full fruits and uh, pre processing if you do the particular locality particular location is best way for the for processing industry for other purpose we can uh, process it at the uh, where is the production area itself we can do by using this kind of technologies that is called blast freezing mechanism it is called blast freezing mechanism or frozen jack that we can go here uh, i think thank you sir thank you so much uh, sir i have one more question before we move forward uh, in case, this is in regards to the dragon fruits uh, production and uh, you know entire uh, farming of uh, dragon fruit in india has the covid impact any you know the farming culture of dragon fruit because considering this is just started in india and you know maybe the consumerism of the fruit has you know considering the cost of it has this impacted uh, directly or indirectly in any sense if i may ask Now, uh, during initially, what farmers are facing problem? Actually, major market is Bombay, Chennai, and Delhi and Calcutta. What happened? It's a, it's a uh, metropolitan uh, fruit. Yes, sir. Fruits. Uh, initial time, what happened? They could not able to send the fruits through lorries because of lockdown. They are not allowed lorries one state to another state. That time, local farmers how they managed? They are selling their fruits through apartments, through agencies locally itself. 
there also they got around 120 rupees once the market is opened bombay and chennai market and all they got 160 rupees per kilo today also huge demand is dragon fruit people are think that this is one healthy fruit thinking is not only that is the best they are they are after having this fruit they feel that this is best for their health they are thinking that's why the demand the people farmers are not direct to sell direct to consumer they themselves they take a, initially one or two months they face the problem they are not facing problem they manage very well to selling their produce and some people they kept in cold storage for 20 days also and they sold to sent to market later on to them but the cold storage only very few farmers many farmers they manage to sell their produce under rupees per kilo they got it actually so sir so I, I presume then the shelf life of the product is i think average yes, or maybe good 10 days 10 days okay. Then Even then, outside, outside skin will be ugly appearance will be that skin will be shrinked, but inside fruit will be very good. It won't be spoiled at all. That's why this advantage of this fruits by seller also, farmer also. I think it's a win-win situation for both. I think one of our participants has a question. Uh, Dr. Mahesh Kadhar, yeah. yes sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, I want to ask you regarding, uh, is any government encouragement point of view, they have come up with any scheme concern for this we can say indigenous fruits like dragon fruit, uh, jackfruit. Uh, then, what will be the package and practices for uh, area like Rajasthan, Gujarat, if you want to grow this particular crop? Yes, sir. Now, I have already to one Gujarat webinar. I given two hours only on dragon fruit. Gujarat also I given webinar. Madras I given webinar. Northeastern states I given seven webinar only on dragon fruit since. I could not be able to deeper this crop because the title was restricted to me. Sure, sure. Those, those areas, sir, we will give full, uh, for you, I will give package of practice to you. Because the summer time, they will face a problem of sunburn injury. That is yeah, the yeah. major problem in Gujarat and Maharashtra. We will give technology to them for the farmers, one thing. Another one thing, the crop, little bit, you will get late. June after July only will get. But in case of Karnataka, you will get early. So, the competition will be little bit reduced. Your crop October, you will get a little bit more crop. Our winter is set already, but your winter will be delayed actually. So, so that's why you will have better market in Bombay, Rajasthan, and Rajasthan already many people. Are. Gujarat is centered large number of farmers and larger area. Gujarat okay. actually. Sure. So, you give me personal, uh, you pick me on my WhatsApp, sir. I'll sure, do that sure. and be a practice as all this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay, sir. Uh, sir can we, uh, can we drop your phone number in the chat box allowing our participants to connect to you directly yes yes i will tell allow okay sir so i think on a conclude uh, as a concluding i think i would like to confirm one thing so see since you said that uh, this fruit is grown at different places on different timing because for example as you said in the southern region it's uh, the production would be in the early october and all for uh, you know so northern region like gujarat and uh, upper region the production would be by march so yes. is that is that a concluding point that jackfruit uh, dragon fruit can be grown throughout the demand can be fulfilled why vietnam is surviving why vietnam is surviving if you ask today also they will send they will send 100 tons 1000 tons also they will send food because their technology is year round production their technology is year round production that's why it put one picture by farmer name he is doing lighting by the month of october onwards his fruits will be ready by the December, January, February. So same way, if you attempt many farmers, so year-round production is possible. So Vietnam is, all our country, their, their export is successful because of year-round production, year-round supply. They never allow any agencies to, to go to other countries. They will manage to send their food somehow. That's why they are in the entire world, they are leading in export and production also. So that sir, is is a, it the technology related to the production of the fruit that is keeping it the year long or it's this is the variety of fruit that it can be grown throughout? Oh, it is, can be grown throughout, not with storage. It is grown throughout by using LED bulbs, by using LED lights, by light, light technology intervention. So is the technological aspect of how it is growing so that it can yes, be grown? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so you can break your fruiting early, you can make fruiting late also, you can avoid regular season fruiting also. Perfect, sir. Perfect. I think it's a great, it has a great future ahead. Uh, any of the participants, uh, anyone, if you have any questions or queries, we'll be uh, shooting them up. Otherwise, we'll be wrapping the session.
If you can drop your queries and questions in the chat box, also, uh, sir has already directly given his phone number. You can contact to him for any collaborations or for more further understanding of both the fruits or for that matter. Any uh, other you, your institute can start studying the projection of how the for today's price, what is the future price. Uh, your institute can start such a kind of what is the uh, value of this one that kind of project in your institution can they can take up sir uh, niam did actually for with uh, jackfruit we had a research study uh, it was uh, i think it was published in last year uh, around uh, maybe october or november only it was I, I remember attending the conference so for jackfruit i think niam has conducted uh, with uh, two scientists the jackfruit research uh, for dragon food i think i would like to project this to our higher authority so maybe you know we can you can project to... avocado also you can project avocado also avocado because also. both is both is emerging food crop among the farmers what will be the marketing trend whether the market will get collapse or market will pick this one has to project that is very important for the farmers okay sir sure so with no questions or no collaboration, sir, uh, thank you so much for the entire presentation. We, I get to learn a lot and I think most of our expecting our participants must have got an idea as to what the fruit, uh, is the future, both the fruits hold. And I think how India can be a very potential market for both the fruits. And yes, we can do at least we can fulfill our internal needs as far as our country is concerned. Uh, no export for us. So, uh, thank you so much, sir, for giving in comprehensive and taking out your time for us. And thank you to all the participants for all uh, patiently listening to us and participating. So, uh, sir, we'll be wrapping the session now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yes. All the participants, uh, you can uh, leave the meeting room now. Sachin, kindly uh, stop the recording. Thank you.